Hey everybody, Mr. Macintosh here, and the Mac OS Big Sur 11.5.1 update is here. Apple just released the update only five days after 11.5. Why would they do that? Well, there's a serious issue that they fixed in this update, and I'm going to go over that and more next. Okay, let's first go over the details of this update. The 11.5.1 update has changed the build number to 20G80 from 20G71, which is 11.5 that was released only five days ago. The size of the update on Macs that are already on 11.5 will be the smallest, and they will be around 3.23 gigabytes in size. If you are on 11.4, 11.3, or farther back, the update will be larger in size, all the way up to five or six gigabytes. On this point release, Apple did not update either the M1 firmware, it's the same version as 11.5, or the T2 Intel Bridge OS update running on the T2 security chip. Both of those are not updated. Apple also released a full installer of Mac OS Big Sur 11.5.1, and I've got this on my one-click download page, and Apple also released a full M1 IPSW file for the 11.5.1 update. As for Safari, Safari was not updated. It is the same version as 11.5. The next thing I want to cover was the size of the update on the system. A lot of you asked me to cover this so you know if it, the update takes any more size on the SSD drive. This picture I took right before I did the update and this was on 11.5 and it took up 15.34 gigabytes and then after the update it did not change. It was 15.34 gigabytes. Now I wanted to talk about the time that it takes to prepare and install the update. What I do is I check to see how long it takes in two different areas. On Mac OS Big Sur, update will first prepare the update. This will all happen behind the scenes if you have automatic updates enabled, but what will happen is if you check for the update and it just finds the update now, it will have to prepare the update. In this situation, it took 10 minutes for this preparing phase for the 11.5 to 11.5.1 update. The next thing I keep track of is how long it will take to actually install the update when it goes to the black screen with the progress bar. Once it reboots on this particular update, it took 18 minutes from black screen to a usable desktop. Now let's talk about the actual issue issue that this fixes. Apple releases point release updates usually for security updates and or emergency fixes. They save the minor releases, for example 11.5, for feature updates and bug fixes. So when they release a point release, usually it's pretty serious and especially for this one. This one fixes one specific security update that goes as follows. This security document for the 11.5.1 security update shows that the issue only affects the IO mobile frame buffer and it reads as the impact an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. Also, Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited. So what does that mean? That means that someone reported to Apple this problem. Apple has fixed it in this update and also let them know that they've detected that this is already on Macs out there right now in the wild. It could be on your machine right now. So the next thing you might ask, do you recommend installing this update? And I do. Anytime that there's a point release update like this that is revolving around security, you want to be able to protect your device as soon as possible. So I do recommend installing this update as soon as you can. I also ran a Geekbench benchmark on this system just to make sure that there's no major performance issues on the update. On, as you can see here, this is on 11.5, I ran a 1750 and a 7653. And on the 11.5.1 update, it's a slightly higher, a 1744 and a 7706. And that's the Mac OS Big Sur 11.5 update. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.